Hi, I'm Jay Harrison G. I'm here with Playbill, and we're talking about Some Like It Hot. Some like a cool pastoral scene With rolling hills and woods of green It's heaven sent to pitch a tent To build and cool some Like It Hot is one of the greatest film comedies of all time that we're hoping to parlay into one of the greatest musical comedies of all time. Um, and I think I can say that with um, some confidence, mostly because we have one of the greatest Shaman and Whitman scores ever written, and we have Casey Nicola at the helm. So I think we're in good hands. Some Like It Hot is about two friends, Joe and Jerry, who uh, see some some sketchy things happen and they go on the run to uh, save their lives. And on the way, they find a lot more about themselves as human beings uh, and really expand. It's literally felt like we're big kids playing in a sandbox. I kid you not. I enjoy this I've enjoyed this process so much because it has brought out the inner kid in me and uh, working with them has changed my life in that way it's been liberating truly liberating to be myself and explore and take things down build things up and uh, just to feel like I am worth the investment that's what they make you feel like and I am so honored to be a part of something like that things cool as mountain air and though the postman might ring twice some like the man who brings the ice he cometh with his block to stop it's been thrilling and as we stand in the schubert balcony where i spent my youth <laughs> it's nice to be in this house as well <laughs> yeah it's been thrilling to uh, figure out how to tell the story as you said in 2022 and i think we've we've done the work and we figured it out and i think people will be surprised and and happy and mostly entertained it's been fantastic. I mean, I honestly, when I came on board, I didn't really know what kind of show it was going to be in that way until I started hearing all of Marcus Scott's songs, which were and are incredible and so much fun and so catchy. And there's so many big dance numbers because it's just it screamed for it. So that's what it's ended up being. And the cast is amazing and so much fun. And we have such a great time. You can't swing a cat without hitting someone with a couple of Tony Awards in their back pocket. So. Uh, right away, you know you're dealing with like uh, just an incredible group of people, and uh, it's been amazing to see all of their incredible talents come to bear on this project. Uh, and it's thrilling. The, the songs are absolutely fantastic. The score is amazing. The dancing is incredible. Everything about it starts to just uh, 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 make your hair fly back when you're watching it. Each song is a Fabergé egg. It is a gorgeous thing, and it's written in all styles. So really, there's something for everyone, and uh, they are masters of their craft. For those who are familiar with the Billy Wilder film, um, the architecture is similar. You'll, you'll recognize it. But this this takes it a step further. There's like a um, there's there's some discovery here and and revelation that is a little deeper and more honest and embracing of um, a more diverse group of people and and it is just it's just so wonderful to watch you know that this is a little bit more uh, daring in that way than the movie is I hope they experience a, a wave of inclusion I hope they experience a wave of questioning, wow, am I the person who's making it harder for people or am I the person who's making it uh, welcoming for people? Um, I hope they ask themselves questions. I hope they receive joy. I hope they have fun dancing, singing, um, laughing. And, um, but also I hope they think when they leave. I hope they just decide to become a part of our community, our world's solution, rather than being a part of any, anybody's problem. <laughs>